Hi Year 7s, today we're going to do Hokkien noodle and pork stir fry. Um, now if you are vegetarian uh, you could use tofu or tempeh or just um, leave out the, the pork and use um, more vegetables but we're going to get uh, started so I'll show you all the ingredients we need. Okay so here we have um, our fresh Hokkien noodles. Oh look, I thought I might just double the recipe so there's enough for my family for dinner tonight. So um, in the recipe it says to place them in a bowl and cover with water. So this is to separate them and start cooking. So I'll do that as we go through. Okay, so they're my Hokkien noodles. Covered with boiling water. Um, just separate them. Okay, um, now We've got some corn flour. The corn flour is used to thicken up the sauce. We've got some ketchup manis, which is sweet soy, delicious. We've got hoisin, which is like a barbecue, an Asian barbecue, and some vinegar with uh, rice wine vinegar. We've got some peanut oil. We have got pork fillers that I'll slice thinly. We have got an onion. Now it does say brown onion. I only got red onion, but that's fine. We've got some aromatics, uh, ginger and some garlic. Um, and I have some snow peas, which I love, and some red capsicum, uh, carrot, and a bok choy, which I haven't got out of the fridge. Now I've got my bok choy. So I've got my bok choy ready. So we've got all these um, ready. The, what we're going to be using today is um, a wok. You can, if you don't have a wok at home, you can use a large fry pan or a saucepan, but you just need to be able to have it big enough so you can uh, mix it around and, and keep the uh, ingredients moving. And next up, we're going to prepare all our veggies ready to go. So we've got our capsicum. And we're going to, what does it say with the capsicum? Thinly sliced. So I just cut it off like this. My knife is not very sharp. and then slice it. I'm going to now julienne my carrots. Now I very rarely do I um, peel my carrots. Now julienne is to um, make matchsticks out of them. Okay. So I cut it into slices like that and then into battens. Next is to top and tail your um, snow peas. And you can either do that by just that or you can just <coughs> trim them up like that. So you can stack them to make it quicker. Stack them like that, chop the ends off. And you could chop them in half if they were big. So we're going to prepare our onion. Now it says brown onion and I said I don't have that so I'm just using a red onion. And it says to slice thickly. Well, when I do a stir fry I don't like thick slices of onion. So I always do it thin. So I'll cut it in half. Just do thin slices. I know that people are different, have different opinions on this. I know my family, my husband loves it thickly sliced, but I don't. So there's that. Okay, so we're gonna get our garlic and ginger. Okay, so for the garlic to take the skin off, I just take the, uh, the part that's attached to the plant and smash it, and then I've got it like that. Okay, take that off. And you can actually put it into the microwave for um, 10 seconds and it um, comes away really easy, that paper. For my ginger, I just like to grate it. I love ginger, so 
that's a nice amount. Now for my bok choy, I'm just going to chop the ends off. Now it can be quite sandy. This one's actually quite, it's clean. But, um, so you need to give it a rinse. And I'm just going to roughly chop that up. Okay, so I have all my veggies ready now. I'm going to uh, mix together my sauces and then um, cut up my pork. Okay, I'm going to um, mix up my sauces now. And remember, I'm doubling the recipe. So it says uh, a half a tablespoon, which is uh, two teaspoons but of corn flour. But I'm going to put in a tablespoon. Now, to a half a cup of water. I'm going to mix that together. Now this will um, thicken the sauce and give it a nice glossiness, okay? So I'm going to actually put in my ketchup manis. So two tablespoons of that. Um, two tablespoons of my hoisin. And two tablespoons of my rice wine vinegar. One, two. Now I'm going to mix that all together and set that aside ready for when I start stir frying and adding it. But I want to, you can see that nice, I want to mix that all together. Okay, so that's how we want it to be. Okay, now I'm gonna slice up my um, pork fillet. Now pork fillet is um, very lean, and this is a spit sinewy, this one, but um, we're going to slice it thinly. So I can hope you can see. I'll try and move it around this way. You want it really nice and thin. Slice all that up ready for the stir fry. Now, I just um, thought of this. This is the sinew on it. You can take that sinew off and it will make your meat a lot more tender. This can get a bit chewy. So there's a lot of sinew there. Um, but this is that is not the fat. So the fat would make it even more tender and tasty. But this is sinew. Okay, so I've got my wok on and I'm going to um, just brown off this beautiful lean pork fillet in batches because you don't want to overload your pan so and you don't want to overcook your meat otherwise it'll get really tough so we're going to do it in batches till it's slightly brown and then pull it out and put it in a dish to uh, add to the stir fry later okay i'm just going to add a little bit of my oil peanut oil which has got a really nice high burning point and we want that to heat up so when we pop it in you can hear sizzle Okay, so we want it to cook quickly at a high temperature. Now I think that my um, pan's ready now. Yeah, you can hear sizzling away there. Now I'm gonna do this in three batches, but, but you know, you might only have to do two if you're only doing it for one. So I just wanna stir fry it till it's lightly browned on each side. You don't want to cook it right through because it'll go back into um, um, noodles and it'll cook a little bit further. You might need tongs at this stage. Now this is my last batch of pork. And I'll show you how brown. It's nice and sizzly. You can hear it sizzle away. Now, see, I want it quite nice and brown. Okay, I've got 
my pan's very hot put the rest of my peanut oil in and I'm going to do my onions first my sliced onions and when they're nearly I don't want to brown these I just want to soften them up when these are nearly done I'll put my garlic and ginger in because they your garlic will um, burn quicker than your onions will so you need to keep everything moving when you're stir frying now you want the onion to soften but keep it moving and see how glossy that's from the, the peanut oil I'm going to at this stage pop my garlic and ginger in. Now this is quite a quick process now. Oh, it looks like it needs a tiny bit more oil. Now this is like, you have to really judge how this is going to. Okay, so that's softening off nicely. Now it says in the recipe to add your peas, capsicum and bok choy. I'm just going to put those in a lot in there. Now we're going to, I'm going to put the bok choy in next because I've got carrots in here and the bok choy won't take as long as these. I'm going to fry that off. Now you want to stir fry your veggies off till they're just soft, not like um, you still want some kind of crispness to it. Put my bok choy in. Now because the bok choy is a leafy vegetable, it, it softens up much quicker than your carrot and capsicum and snow peas. Okay, so at this stage, I am now going to add back in my pork, my browned off pork. There's some juices in there too. And my noodles. Now I'm just going to put the noodles in I don't want too many noodles. And I'm going to put my sauce in. And I'm going to stir fry this until the sauce starts to thicken. But I want to make sure that it's all coated. All my veggies and my noodles are coated. With that delicious, delicious sauce. Just to finish off my dish, I'm just chopping up a fresh chili. It's a little bit dry, this one actually. Some fresh chili that I'm going to chop up. And a friend of mine bought over some beautiful coriander yesterday from her garden, so I'm going to grab some of that. And here's that beautiful coriander. I'm going to give that a chop up. Just a rough chop. And put that aside ready to serve. Okay, this is a big serve. I think there's about four or five serves there. So I'm going to serve this up into my bowls. Making sure you've got equal amounts of like the veggies and the beef and the noodles. And I'm going to put some coriander on top and some fresh chili and serve with my chopsticks delicious now that's a lot of food there but really super duper healthy dinner okay guys good luck I hope you cook this